What's good, YouTube? Click A74 with the back to back uploads. Y'all thought that was gonna be my, the last video was gonna be my only video tonight. Well, another video is gonna come out just right now, and <clears throat> this time I'm gonna be talking about pretty much. I actually watched the Clippers G League game. It was actually on ESPN2, so I pretty, pretty much tuned in because I just want to see how the youngies are doing, especially my boy Jay Scrub. But in this video, <coughs> we're going to be talking about my man, Keon Johnson. First, I just want to say Keon Johnson is a lot better than we than I would think and a lot of others would, would think. Like, boy. Like, <laughs> like. If y'all thought Brandon Boston and Jay Scrub is just, is just, well, especially me, I'm just saying mainly Brandon Boston. That's it, because not many people, too, not many people are as high on Jay Scrub as how I am. But if y'all thought it's just Brandon Boston Jr., ooh, y'all need to check Keon Johnson out. So that boy, where can we start? That boy, Keon Johnson, is really damn efficient. Like last game. I, the last G League game, I kind of checked the stats. I didn't really watch the game, but that boy went off with 24 points, and he only missed like four shots, I believe, and he was one for three from the three point line. And but that the thing is, that dude does not really shoot shoot threes, but he scores a good amount of points still. His defense is amazing. His athleticism is literally um, absurdly amazing. And the game I saw, Keon Johnson, he dropped like 16 points, literally had a perfect stats. Yes, I said it, 8 for 8, a perfect stat line. And I'm going to just add this, he literally had an ankle injury in the third quarter. So can you just imagine if Keon Johnson just never had the injury and played the whole game? He would have dropped at least... Like, almost 30 points. That dude, like... And don't forget, he didn't even shoot any three-pointers last night. He, I mean, tonight. He was... All he did was slash hand. Boy, he's really good at it. And he plays amazing defense. Like, when... One of the videos that I saw is he said he models his game after Kawhi Leonard. He ain't lying. Because that dude, he was going inside of midi. And he was swishing the damn midi. Kind of like how Kawhi did when he was, you know, entering the league. He was not known to shoot threes. But then he started, what he did, he started developing. And I believe Keon Johnson is going to head on to that path. And, hey, this dude, we have another bright youngin, bro. And Keon is that boy. He is, man, I just can't stress how good he is, bro. Like, just check the highlights on Keon Johnson, and, and y'all going to be amazed. He is ultra efficient. I mean, ultra efficient. Like, when I seen him in the summer league, I was pretty cool with Keon. I mean, I didn't know he was going to be super good, but when I saw one of the G League games, and, you know, I kind of look at the, at the box scores of the other G League game, we, we both played... G League Ignite with Jaden Hardy and all the other people. Like, Jaden Hardy, he's going to be like a top pick in 2022. But, 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 like I said, Keon really impressed me a lot. And he's another dude that I'm going to be hella high on. So, that's that's pretty much what I'm going to say about Keon. But right now, I'm going to kind of, you know, talk about the other players like how they did, so, so, <clears throat> first, we're going to talk about Serge Ibaka was actually playing, too, he was just there to, you know, get reps in, he had a, his stat line, if y'all look at it, y'all, y'all going to laugh, but, but any day, that was just for him to get his repetition, like, he later then, you know, got back into rhythm, so that's great, so, we're, if, so we're going, so we're going to talk about how, Sorry for that awkward noise, by the way. I don't know what happened. So we're going to be talking about Brandon Boston on how how he did. He was a walking bucket. 
as he is. Nothing really surprising. And then I'm going to go talk about J Scrub. The, the J Scrub, who I would pretty much beloved a lot. J Scrub, he also looked pretty nice too, but one thing he could definitely really improve on is <coughs> he could definitely try to keep shooting and not trying to, like, you know, play too much like a point guard. Like, I see J Scrub a lot of times, he would kind of, you know, be a bit passive. He kind of try to pass the ball a lot, but. What Jay needs to do, he needs to start firing that boy. He needs to be firing that ball. He needs to be, he's he needs to be jacking it up and swishing him, or attack the paint. Cause Jay Scrub, what I will, t- what I'm telling you, he could do it all in terms of offense. He could, like, if you want him to, if you want him to swish at three, he will swish at three. If you want him to drive to the rack, he will drive to the rack. If you want him to do a nice layup, he will do a nice layup. He just needs to get a lot of shots in. He's just one of those that he may not be efficient, but he needs to get. But if you give him like a lot of room to to just shoot, and he will score a lot of points. I promise you. I still believe he's J Scrubs going to be pretty darn good. Um, his defense is is also also pretty darn good, and his in my opinion, his hustle just got better. Like, <laughs> Jay Scrub would literally do everything what it takes to fight to get every possession. So, that's that. And then we're going to go talk about Harry Giles. That dude was also pretty good, too. He was literally switching threes in the last, in the fourth quarter. But then, the, the G League coach is something out to put Serge Ibaka to get Ibaka's reps in. But Giles, that guy is going to be solid, too. Another player I'm also talk about is Moses Wright. Now Moses Wright, I mean, he's pretty. His defense is stepping up, stepping up too. Like I like the way how would, he would, you know, play defense. Like he would literally like, like have this nice verticality. Like, and he had some nice blocks. Like I'll tell you that much. His blocks was pretty ferocious in my opinion and he can also be a solid player for the Clippers or any other team I guess but I it would be nice if the Clippers could could you know put him in the roster have him you know play with us and you know do his thing because he's he has the tools to be a solid player and because one time he just literally done, did that beautiful dunk on bowl bowl and that I say that screams potential, but other, but other than that, that's all what I gotta say about this video. And again, like I said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And good night, Clipper Nation. Let's get this.